the orange spiny white fly, Aleurocanthus spiniferus, may constitute a severe issue in organic agriculture, since it causes important losses if not immediately detected and treated, especially considering that phenosanitary products are not very effective in controlling its populations. This invasive white fly is native to Asia and is gradually spreading within the Mediterranean basin, posing a severe risk to European citrus orchards. Similar to other insect species, white flies use vibrations to interact with conspecifics and with the environment, in that they emit and perceive vibrational signals on their host plants to find mates, detect enemies and assess weather conditions. In the last decade, researchers used this knowledge to develop environmentally friendly control strategies that are integrating other pest management approaches. In fact, Species-specific vibrational stimuli can decrease the mating success of pests, attract them inside traps, repel them from plants, or reduce their feeding activity. As an example, a vibrational vineyard has been developed in northern Italy to disrupt mating in grapevine leaf hoppers and is demonstrating that vibrations can be used to control plant diseases such as Flavicens doré without harming the agrosystem. Given these premises, we are developing and testing a vibrational citrus orchard for controlling whiteflies, such as Aleurocanthus piniferus. We connected the trees of each lane with metallic wires, which transmit a specific noise that covers the frequencies used by whiteflies to communicate. As you can see from the video, a small device, the shaker, is connected to the wire and represents the source of the signal. To power the shakers, we use solar panels, overall enhancing the sustainability of this system. Although data collection and analysis are ongoing, preliminary results suggest that the population of the orange spinny whitefly is lower in treated lanes than in control, so untreated, lanes. Indeed, the next step is to assess the impact on beneficial arthropods, even if the narrow range of the transmitted vibrations are not supposed to harm species other than the white fly. To conclude, we think that these and similar vibrational approaches could soon help organic farmers in protecting their orchards while respecting the environment and human health.